Hi, I'm Brian Lindbergh from the Tin Man's Garage. We're here with our latest build, a 36 Willy sedan four-door. We put a 241 Baby Hemi in this. It's the red, red Ram. Uh, we wanted to retain the original firewall since that was uncut. A lot of times they would cut these out for drag racing, so we wanted to retain that. So we were able to set the engine in front of that. Um, it's got an Offenhauser intake with three deuces. They're uh, the Holly Demon carburetors. Um, we had to actually use a remote water pump down on the frame to make the clearance we needed from the engine to the electric fans. But it ended up working really well and everything fit just the way we intended it to. One of the interesting features on this car is we actually removed the B-pillar in the center of the car of the doors. So when you open the doors like this, you open the front door like normal and we have a safety catch in the door you have to push to open the back door. So it's sort of completely open. This car was originally from South Africa, so it was a right-hand drive car. When we, when we redid all of the chassis, we of course changed everything over to left-hand drive, but we've actually machined the steering wheel from scratch. It's designed to look sort of like the original three-spoke, but it has a deeper dish uh, to give it more, a little bit more of a hot rod flavor. We also machined this W and the Willys horn button to make that look like it could have been an original equipment. Some of the other interesting features inside the car, <clears throat> we've uh, designed this waterfall dash emblem from scratch with these ribs and it mimics the door handles ribs here and we've continued this waterfall design and all the upholstery in the seats. It has this, this sort of design. Uh, we've carried that through into the gauges. These are custom gauges from Classic Instruments. <clears throat> that same waterfall design kind of goes around this bullseye and carries through into the brake pedal. Um, but we've done a lot of little things like make the steering column drop and everything's nickel plated and all the buttons or all the knobs are all matching. Um, we've got an old pool ball and a lucky rabbit's foot just to kind of have fun with the car and, and, and kind of add that late 60s flavor to it. One unique thing that you can't see from out there is we've got this uh, floral headliner inside here that's a, a one piece uh, fiberglass mold that the upholsterer made. And we got kind of a fun, funky uh, floral pattern to match with the outside of the colors. And again, just kind of add to that classic Concord restoration slash hot rod feel, which was kind of our overall theme. We wanted to really blend those two types of styles together in one car. We did some body modifications of this sedan. We took one inch out of the front A-pillar and we actually redesigned the entire roof. So from this point to this point, we've reshaped the entire roof. Originally, it was very bulky and sort of bulbous in the back. Um, also, it was very flat through here. So when we, we redesigned this, we wanted a really nice, smooth transition that tapered and almost wedged forward. <clears throat> so we remade the whole roof. We also cut the tops of the doors off and reshaped these in the curvature to match the drip rail. One of the other things that we've done is we've reworked the wheel wells. <clears throat> we really like the way they used to cut the fenders open with the, the, the slicks on when they used to drag race, but we didn't want the tires sticking out. So we tried getting the tires as close to the fenders as possible, and we ended up reworking this whole lip to match the radius of the tire, and also we put a wire edge in it to keep that nice and tight and have it that old race car feel. We haven't done too much in the back of the car. We, we repaired a bunch of rust in the bottom and remade this tail section. One of the biggest things that Willie's guys aren't too happy with is that we welded the spare tire well into the body. So we actually reworked this and welded it together. We also made a fake hubcap and we hammered out this trim ring and found another hubcap to use the W and we've turned this into the, the gas fill. So you just unscrew this, pull this out, and then you can put your gas nozzle in there. And then when you're all done, you screw this back in and pop it back in so it looks like a hubcap. Uh, we also did use a, a little miniature 50 Pontiac tail light, which keeps it nice and simple and looking period. We finished this car at the beginning of the year and we debuted it at the Grand National Road Show in our booth space. Since then we've shown it at a couple good guy shows and then we're here at this uh, NSRI Nationals event. This is the second car that we've built for our, the owner, Ron Ernsberger, who owns the Red Willys pickup that we did that won the Sloanaker in 2020. Uh, we're really fortunate to work with him again and have his trust to, to build something creative like this. Uh, the next show we're going to go to is The Gathering, and I'm looking forward to driving it, getting on the road a little bit, 
with the customer and enjoying it. And we're just going to keep showing it and driving it and having a good time.